G'day champions, it's Stuart Stone here from Health and Fitness Over 40. Now as you're probably aware, I've been doing a number of videos on fasting because I'm in the middle of a five day fast. And during this fast, I've done a lot of research about the whole fasting process and the, the health benefits and so on and so forth. Why? Because I've got the time to do it right now. I don't have to worry about preparing meals, I don't have to worry about eating meals, and I don't have to worry about cleaning up after them. So I've got a lot more time on my hand to do research and create videos just for you. And one of the pieces of research that I found really interesting and that's fallen off the mainstream radar over the past 40, 50 years or so is the concept of the relationship between intermittent fasting and alleviating the signs and symptoms and even in some cases curing epilepsy, epileptic seizures. So let's have a look at what the research has to say on that. So like I said, I've been looking at some articles on fasting and one of the pieces of information I came across was this one about a professor at the, of medicine at Columbia University and it's the case study of the, the seizures of a boy who had not responded to the leading epileptic treatment of the day. So his parents fasted him and the seizures ceased after the second day. So they fasted him again three more times over the next three months and he remained seizure free for two years. And then his case records end. So the Professor Guyelan took 26 epileptic subjects and fasted them for periods of five to 22 days. And some of them were fasted a second and a third time. So the seizures stopped during the fast in the vast majority of the kids. And seizures returned in four to six of the patients once their fasts were broken. But the other 20 children had few or no seizures for weeks or months and to remain seizure free for at least a year. So a bunch of researchers looked at this work and decided that since fasters survive by eating or metabolizing their own fat, perhaps putting epileptics on a fatty diet might help them. So they did this and um, as a result of the, the improvements in epilepsy, many hospitals adopted the treatment. But of course, you get new anticonvulsant drugs coming in and with the power of the pharmaceutical industry, they become vogue of the day. However, decades later, we have seen that studies show that fasting followed by a high fat diet was as effective against seizures as many modern anticonvulsants. But then there's been more and more research done more and more recently. So here we go, the ketogenic diet and fasting. So an intermittent fasting regime in combination with the ketogenic diet can be implemented successfully in pediatric patients, so children. And the regime improves seizure control. Families reported the additional benefit was worth pursuing intermittent fasting. And another study here from 1999. So preliminary studies of the ketogenic diet. So the aim was to evaluate the change in atonic or myoclonic seizures, so various forms of epilepsy during the initiation of the ketogenic diet. So the results were that 17 patients were studied and in all of these children, a greater than 50% decrease in seizures was reported by the fifth day of the fast. So these are kids who are having multiple seizures. And again, another study, this one from 2012 from John Hopkins University. So what they found was fasting does not merely intensify the therapeutic effects of the ketogenic diet, but may actually represent an entirely new way to change the metabolism of children with epilepsy. So four of the six children in this small study experienced between 50% and 99% fewer seizures after the fasts were added to the dietary regimen. So if you're resistant to wanting to use medication, or if you find that the medication has limited efficacy for your child or for your own epilepsy, it's always worth looking at other options. And I thought it was interesting to share this information if you're one of these people who does not respond well to traditional treatments. So it's always good to know there are other options and other possibilities, and many of them as effective as the current medications. So there you go. And for more videos like this one, make sure you go over here and click on the Red Heart Apple and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ring the bell while you're at it so you're notified of when our new videos come up. And also, go down in the description box below, give our Facebook page a like, and we'll talk to you again very soon.